This one's going to be quick. Bass drops. How do you do bass drops? Everyone goes around looking for a sample of a bass drop. How do I do it? All it is is a bass sound detuning. And it's easy as cake in here. So we come in here, we delete whatever sound we have, start from scratch. We go back into our oscillator section. Now, a bass sound is basically a sine wave. So what you want to do is you want to take your waveform and move it down to a sine wave. And you just want to detune. So you want to hit a note, you want it to go boom. So we, we look again at our envelope over here. So we'll take our envelope depth, turn all the way up just so we can activate it. And then now if we look at the picture of the diagram, basically we don't want the bass sound to go up, so attack has to stay down. And we want the decay to work. We want to just decay from whatever note we hit. So we find it and we find the sound we want. Find the right length, and you say, oh man, it's really high pitch. Take your pitch, tune it down. So there you got. It's that easy to do a bass drop. And it's even enough that if you wanted to, maybe at the end of it, do a little bit of a uh, modulation just for a little more excitement, what you can do is take your pitch. Let's move that all the way up. And we'll do, we have a fade time over here. Fade time will say, how long until my LFO kicks in? So if I turn my fade time up and I hit my bass drop at the tail end of the bass drop, it should start to modulate. If you want to give it a little more movement inside of that bass drop.